Well, just a you know, pretty well played ball game. You take away maybe if one drop fly ball in the outfield is really kind of a high sky situation. He kind of lost it. Um, you know, pretty solid game all the way around. I think that uh, you know Hill had good stuff, especially early. We we had trouble, you know, squaring him up and uh, threw a lot of off speed and and sneak fastball in on us a little bit and. You know, he's a guy who just doesn't give up much hits. You look at his numbers throughout the year. I mean, he's got 30, 30 more innings than he's given up hits, I think. It's it's up there, it seemed like, anyway. And uh, so you just have to try to wait him out a little bit, you know, try to get his pitch count up. And it looked after it looked like after the first couple innings, we weren't going to be able to do that. He was getting us out pretty quick and real efficient. And then uh, and we, we battled him. I think we had a couple of full count, guys fouling balls off. and. You know, Carson took a really had a really good at bat where he uh, fouled off a couple of pitches when he had a full count, and then he, he drew a walk on a on a pitch that was probably about two balls low. It was a great take, and uh, you know we just kind of chipped away and scored a run here and, and a run there, and uh, but we still never really got to Hill. He he kind of you know he walked <coughs> us and hit us, and uh, and then we finally put together a big inning there, and in I think it was the seventh. Um, which was was huge for us, and uh, you know, good win for us. All right, raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you for questions for the student athletes. We'll start with Bob. Hey, this is for Carson. Um, it's kind of a three-parter. Um, what, what 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 were you thinking when they intentionally walked Dominic in front of you? Kind of had that feel your fire. What pitch did you hit? And you guys had struggled to score with the bases loaded against South Carolina. How, you know, what what were we thinking about that? And how big was it? to come through in that situation? Um, you know, I wasn't, uh, I didn't really try to put too much pressure on myself. I heard there was a guy behind me that was saying they have no respect for you. And so I kind of had that ringing in my head. Um, I didn't really want that ringing in my head, but I guess it worked out. Um, I had a fastball in. I was just trying to, de uh, de is it Demurius? Yeah. He, uh, his fastball takes off when it's on the outside corner. And so I was just kind of telling myself to, uh, just to don't let him sneak one by you on the outside corner. So work out to end. Um, and then just see a curveball up if you threw me that. But he threw me a fastball in, uh, low and in. And then, um, and then yeah, the, the, the bases loaded thing. I, w I really wasn't trying to do too much. I was just trying to put the bat on the ball. Um, we had less than uh, two outs. So I was just trying to get the ball in play and hopefully to the outfield. And then when you hit it, you know, cleared the bases, how that feel? Oh, it was great. I kind of lost control when I was about halfway through first. And I mean, y'all have seen me play. I kind of, I, I, don't, I don't really hold my emotions when uh, things go well for me. So. Uh, yeah, I lo uh, lost control of my emotions, and then <clears throat> it was. Uh, I didn't even think that to look up and see that Fletcher was scoring, but he scored, and I was like, "Oh crap!" He scored too, so I was just pumped up. Matt, for Carson and Jax, I wonder if you two could speak to this. It, there's been so many times this year where you guys just seem like you really jump on a team really fast, and it goes from a one-run game to a four or five-run game. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I agree. Um, this team, this lineup's really deep, um, and so when one guy gets on, it kind of translates to another guy. And um, the term or the, the phrase "hitting is contagious" really is true. Um, you know, that one guy gets a hit, and it kind of just builds confidence, and uh, the pitcher kind of sits on it, and you, know, you, you can kind of take off on a team real quick. Yeah, um, I think that we, we have the ability to do that, um, and I think that the reason why we did it tonight is because Adam Hill was so sharp. Um, you know, he, you got to give him credit. He he pitched his his butt off. He was. Uh, he was really tough at the beginning of the game, and just throughout his whole start today, he was tough. He didn't give us anything. Questions for the student athletes. <laughs> Want to explain how you felt and just kind of maybe battling through tonight? How did it go? Uh, body wise, arm wise, I felt fine. Definitely <coughs> didn't have um, didn't have the big breaker. Struggled with fastball command, slider. You know, left one hanging and Stokes hit it out. So I mean. Just had to get through it and get it done. Defense backed me up big time like they have all year long. So if it wasn't for them, I think it would have been a little different story. Bob? It's, it's for, for Jack, Sam, Blaine. What was the feeling like in the dugout when they walked Fletcher and, and Carson was up? And then what was the feeling? What was the reaction when, when he got that hit? Um, it wasn't any disrespect to Carson. It's just the right baseball move to make. Uh, you know, you're trying to step a double play ball. Um, but Carson, I think, already faced their pitcher one time. Um, had a good at bat against him, and so we you know we had full trust in him and full confidence in him. Yeah, same thing, man. I thought it was a smart move. I their coach dressed up a double play, but um, you know it 
kind of backfired on them. So, I mean, the dugout went crazy. And we were pumped up for Shaddy, and, you know, it gave us a good lead. If all three of you could take this one, uh, we'll start with Carson. But they say five wins to Omaha, right? You guys have four, and you have one more. That reality as you guys approach tomorrow. We have a lot of work to do tomorrow. That South Carolina is not going to give us anything. Uh, you know, we're going to come in tomorrow, and we're going to wake up, and we're going to attempt to play our best game. Um, and, you know, we're not thinking about the phrase one more to Omaha. Um, that's not in, in our minds at all. It's just come to work, uh, come to the yard and get to work. Yeah, same thing that Shaddy said. I mean, we still got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow, and so that's where our focus is. And, you know, we're just going to get up and come out here to the yard tomorrow. Uh, yeah, just backpacking off these two. Um, just going to take it, you know, one inning, one pitch at a time, and, you know, uh, say it again <coughs> and goes out. Nate. Just how comfortable for you and really for the staff for Lowski to come in and get a three inning save, especially that first inning when it was just you know one run game still. Yeah, no, that was huge. Uh, Lowski's been really good for us down the stretch, and um, we had full confidence in him. I had full confidence in him, and for him to come in and go for three innings, save the rest of the pen, we'd have to use Cronin, we'd have to use Rindle, so uh, that was huge. Any more questions for the student athletes, Tom? Jack, you're at bat in the sixth inning that gave you the lead. Y'all had not had a hit with runners in scoring position to that point. Just can you talk us through your at bat and getting that big one? Uh, yeah, just trying to get a fastball to hit. Um, you know, the Demarius uh, has a really good slider, um, and so you know he threw a gave me over one that kind of just backed up on him. They threw a really good uh, one in the dirt um, that I was able to lay off of. So I got a good I got in a good hitter's count, and um, just you know got the, got the fastball I was looking for and you know, hit it up the middle. Hitters, Biggers, and, and Shaddy, the seventh inning, the big inning, it was the second time you'd seen that pitcher. Was there anything that you had seen against him the first time that maybe gave you an idea that you could have a big inning against him? Um, for one, I mean, he, he didn't really give us anything. He was tough. He was sharp. Um, but I would say in, in my bat, I just I, I knew that his fastball jumped when it was on the outside corner, so I just had to protect that and kind of try to take that away from him. Um, and going into my last at bat, that, that's what I did. Uh, yeah, I think we faced him, uh, I want to say, maybe in the SC tournament and the weekend we played him. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the more times you face a pitcher, uh, usually uh, it helps the hitter out more. And I think that's just kind of what happened. Any more questions for the student athletes? Gentlemen, thanks for your time. All right, same thing. Raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you for Coach Van Horn. Start with Matt. Dave, you've had a number of innings this year where, mm -hmm. you know, just one big inning might have outscored the other team. I wonder if you can just speak to your offense's ability to do that. It seems several games. I think most teams that are, are pretty offensive, uh, when you when you when they get it rolling a little bit, they can they can put up some runs pretty quick. And you know, you walk us and you hit us, and we get give up a single to us. You know, you're. You know, a lot of times this year we we hit a ball out of the park, and I think you know this is two games in a row that we've won that we haven't hit a home run, um, which is a good thing. You know you got to be able to win without hitting a home run every now and then, and uh, you know just credit to to the depth of our lineup, um, and, and kind of like Jack Spigger said that you know once we get it going a little bit, it kind of builds some confidence. The guys in the dugout get a little bit uh, excited, and a lot of times it bothers the other team's pitchers. You know, when they feel like uh, we're putting a little heat on them. But yeah, we've had a lot of big innings this year. We've got a, we've got a good offensive team. Bob. Yeah, Dave, what, um, you guys have had some issues scoring with the bases loaded against these guys. I mean, you've done it some, but not probably as much as you would have liked. How big was Carson's hit? And, you know, he alluded to showing some emotion. You said the other day you'd prefer he not, but I, I mean, I assume you were okay with, with him showing some emotion after that. Well, his his hit was huge. You know, at the time we had a one run lead. We were, we we were just hoping at a minimum we'd get a sacrifice fly, double our lead. Um, you know, when he hit the ball to the gap, uh, I knew we were going to have at least three. That gave us a four run lead, and then Gates with the big sack fly on an O2 pitch gave us a five run lead. It gave us an opportunity to set Matt Cronin back down, and uh, let Lowski continue out there and. Uh, you know, hopefully finish the game for us, and that's what he did. You know, we'll see how it plays out over the next day or two, whatever it takes. Um, you know, if it, how big a swing that really was. If if Cronin can come in and stop up and help help us stop them and help us get another win, you know, I would say it was a, a huge swing. 
Carson's emotion. I was kind of excited too, but uh, you know, just uh, you know, it's like I always tell these guys. You know, it's okay to show emotion. It, it depends on when you show it. And you know, at the time, we still needed to get three more outs, um, or actually six more outs. So um, you know, I just told him to calm down a little bit and uh, let's try to get another run in there. And uh, you know. I'm emotional, so I expect them to show some emotion. I just, I don't want them to drain themselves. You know, if it had been the second inning, I wouldn't have liked it a whole lot uh, because you have way too much game left to play and it's hot and uh, you need to save your energy. Uh, Dave, Mark said that um, uh, it was a no brainer to walk Fletcher yeah. and that Shaddy has a 60% ground ball rate. But you also kind of know that, f that kind of fuels Carson. I mean, wh what were you thinking when they did that and Shaddy came up with a base load? Well, I would have done the same thing. Um, you know, you, you had a had a base open, you had a left-handed hitter up, you had a right-handed pitcher on the mound, so why not go with the right-on-right -right matchup, try to throw a slider, get him get him to swing on tight, you know, just to, to get a ground ball, have a chance to turn a double play. And, uh, you know, Shetty fouled a pitch or two off, laid off a borderline pitch, had a pitch called away on him, and, you know, got to uh, a count where they, the, the pitcher had to come in there a little bit better. and. Uh, you know, he just he did a great job of getting his hands inside the baseball and putting the barrel on it. And, uh, you know, obviously it was huge for us at the time. It changed the whole game. This was the first time Loski had pitched since the Florida game in the SEC tournament. I think it's about a half a month. Uh, I know he's thrown in, in, in practice, but to see him do that, you know, go so long without pitching in a game and do as well as he did, what were your thoughts? Well, I mean, my thoughts are it was he did a super job saving the rest of our bullpen. You know, it's just the game one. It, we haven't done anything yet except one game one, but he's, uh, you know, he's a guy that's been re been ready to go, and uh, we just felt like that, uh, you know, we had Rindell ready to go uh, if they're in certain situation, but once we got through the inning, we thought let's go with Lowski. Uh, Rindell wasn't 100% ready to go; he'd only thrown like 14 warm-up pitches somewhere in there. Um, we just felt like Lowski was the guy that uh, could get us a couple innings, and maybe get us to the ninth inning where we could bring in. Cronin, uh, if we had to bring him in for two, we were ready to do that. But uh, any out that he could get for us was big, and for him to get nine outs was really big. Coach, uh, Adam Hill's pitch count really took off, I guess, after he cruised through those first two innings. What did you kind of see as the cause for that? Well, what it was is we had some guys that did a great job of laying off some borderline pitches early in the count. Um, you know, he, then he threw some fastballs up and out that we laid off, and fouled a lot of pitches off, you know. Like I mentioned earlier, we had a couple of guys in one inning back to back. You know, the first hitter I think went full count, fouled a couple more off, then he got him out. I think the next hitter full count fouled some more off and we got on and then here we go, you know, that you, all of a sudden the pitch count starting to get there a little bit. Whether or not, I don't even remember how that inning turned out, but um, it was getting him up there where they would have to start thinking, hey, you know, he, he's not gonna give us seven or eight. And they had to start thinking about what they were going to do. And uh, like I said, he never gave us a, a good swing, really. You know, where we had a chance to hit a double and score two. He, you know, we only got two hits on him. And uh, but he walked us a few times and hit us a couple of times and ended up, you know, helping us score a couple runs. Hey, coach. Um, we'll talk about Chetty's double for a while, but he was really good in the infield for you, making some good plays. Yeah, I mean, he's he, he made a really nice play to his left. Um, we kind of pinched that, that gap over there a little bit when, when Cortez is up and uh, and one of the other lefties, can't think of his name off the top of my head, and, and he, he, he got over there quick, made a really nice play, kind of popped up, made a nice throw, and, um, you know, caught a really, uh, you know, the line drive he caught, you have to almost try to catch one and know what he was going through. The ball was knuckling at him. It was really hit hard. Uh, it was good that he tracked it all the way to his glove and kind of made it look easy, but it wasn't easy play. He's been playing good defense for us. He's a good player.